This amazing project took a year to complete. That's mainly because I was diagnosed with leukemia at the start of the project and spent the rest of the year recovering from a bone marrow transplant and then kidney disease. I did the best I could to keep the project going and if it wasn't for the amazing people around me, this project never would have got completed. This little documentary is a testament to what can be achieved when many amazing people come together with their hands and their minds and their hearts. Thank you. The project idea came from an installation I designed and constructed for Westall College with their students in 2013. Totems and indigenous ritual masks have greatly influenced my own art practice for many years, visually, spiritually and metaphorically. The Morumbina project was to have totem poles as well, and a huge mural made up of over 300 individual artworks. I asked St Anthony's Primary School, Carnegie Kindergarten and Carnegie Primary School to be involved. Between them they created over 200 of the artworks needed. The Arella participants and the church's special needs groups along with the rest of us created the others. And so this wonderful project was underway at the rear of the Kunang Uniting Church on Murrumbina Road. I got involved with the Murrumbina Community Arts Project through uh, being a member of Glenora Artists Society and uh, I've heard of Anthony and his gallery so um, I knew that the, the project would be really something I'm interested in, involving the community and disability. Uh, my background is both art and disability so it was really uh, something I was passionate about. What I like about this project is that it involves people of all abilities and disabilities and it's very inclusive and that's a really important part of our community. I got involved with this totem pole project because I've known Anthony for a while with the gallery and because as part of Glen Ira Artist Society, um, it's part of our community involvement program.
Anthony had invited us around to his place before we started and um, over morning tea he gave us some ideas and pulled out a whole lot of books and um, had images on the walls and of some of his uh, masks that he'd collected. So with all that sort of stuff that was fresh in my mind, I just attacked it first of all with block colours of paint and then I allowed the shapes of the timber to sort of guide me as to what sort of representation I'd use and I suppose I didn't want it to be too realistic but I didn't want to completely eliminate some aspects of realism. This head, I had a basic concept about the elements so I thought well I'd start with fire. So I've done like basically a sun image and of course the colours speak for themselves with the yellows and reds. Then I thought I'd just add on bits and pieces. So I started thinking about African tribal. I wanted to divide it in two and then I also, one of the other things that I started with were the lips. So I knew I wanted big red lips and yeah just working with colour. My main art crew and myself worked on the totem heads. The amazing timber artist and friend Stephen Bills constructed the totem poles from my designs and then my friend Adam May was dragged into the project to erect the totem poles and then drop the heads on while we anxiously looked on. We attached the artworks to the fence, turned old benches into colourful art pieces and created more large-scale mural panels and collected an array of recycled objects to add to the totem pole heads as a kind of jewellery. The launch of the completed community garden space was a great success. I missed the opening as I was rushed to hospital that morning with fluid filling my lungs due to my kidney disease. Yet, it was amazing to hear how many people turned up to enjoy the celebration after so much hard work.
I've just said to uh, one of my friends, this is everything I imagined. And it's not very often when you dream something that it actually comes to pass the way you wish. So I'm, I'm, I'm beaming on the inside and the outside. The weather's perfect, except for a bit of wind, of course. But I'm so sad that Anthony's not here. Um, he and I have got to know each other a bit over the last few months. But to see his project come to a conclusion and to see it so well celebrated, it's just giving me so much joy. Well, I, I think it's amazing that so many people have turned up, so many people from different avenues of the community. And when, when you look around, you know, with your rally, the school kids, the other groups that meet here, all of those from the community that have got involved, is just sensational. It's been an absolutely fantastic uh, journey. It's been uh, from conception to finally being able to launch it today. Uh, it's had its challenges, um, but to see so many people out there smiling and enjoying this artwork, community garden, community asset is hugely important and, and very inspiring. Anthony's created a fantastic space that's really, I suppose, fun and vibrant and great for kids to come and enjoy and you know the community gardeners they've now got a wonderful space to come and work in and grow beautiful plants and vegetables. I think he led us along somehow. Oh two weeks Anthony, yes we can we can donate that time, that's fine, yeah no worries. Then another two weeks but oh now we've just got to do this and oh then there's the murals to do so it developed into this massive thing but it's such fun to be involved with it. We've had a wonderful community day today and it's lovely to be involved with the Rotaries to put towards it. And Heather has been such an inspiration to, to help and everything. And Anthony has been wonderful to do all the work he has. Um, obviously Anthony's vision with it started a good 12 months ago so it's been really quite satisfying seeing all the community people that have been involved turn up here today. I think it's quite wonderful. Uh, I knew people who belonged to this church 50 years ago. They would be amazed to see how it's all evolved in, and in ways that combine with the community. I think it's a real inspiration uh, what's happened today and over the course of the last few months. I think everybody involved should be really proud of themselves.